somewhere in the far reaches of space lies an object that is pulling everything, including our galaxy, towards it with a gravitational force equivalent to a million billion suns. When it was discovered in 1970 it was named the Great Attractor because of its effect on everything nearby, although exactly what it is made of has remained a mystery because the disk of our own galaxy blocks our view to it. But now scientists have come a step closer to understanding what the Great Attractor is, and one expert reassures us it will not destroy our galaxy, because of the mysterious force of dark energy. At 1.4 million miles an hour, the speed of the Milky Way through the cosmos is 2,500 times faster than a cruising airliner. But exactly what is dragging the Milky Way has been unknown for years. Astronomer Alan Dressler, of the Carnegie Institution, famously dubbed the missing concentration of matter the Great Attractor. Now astronomers believe the Great Attractor is not an object but instead a point in the center of the supercluster of galaxies in which our Milky Way sits. Dr. Paul Sutter an astrophysicist at Ohio State University, explained why researchers think this in an article for Space.com. Astronomers have mapped the majority of the large structures in the universe, but a selection of these are hidden from their view by the junk inside the Milky Way. This region, named the Zone of Avoidance, is obscured by the gas and dust in our galaxy so is difficult to see, and the Great Attractor sits in the center of this zone. Development in technology like X-ray telescopes have allowed researchers to peer into the zone for the first time this year. Hundreds of these hidden nearby galaxies were spotted for the first time thanks to a highly sensitive telescope in Australia. A total of 883 galaxies were found in a region of sky normally hidden from view by our own Milky Way, and a third of these were previously unknown to science. Scientists have been trying to solve the mystery of the Great Attractor since major deviations from universal expansion were first discovered in the 1970s and 1980s by looking at the cosmic microwave background. But by looking at how galaxies within superclusters move, astronomers have now discovered what the Great Attractor really is. Instead of just being a large blob of galaxies, Studies of the velocities of galaxies in our local neighborhood of the universe have led to a better working definition of supercluster, a volume of space where all the galaxies in that space are flown to a common center, Dr. Sutter said. There is already a huge cluster of galaxies at this point, the Norma cluster of galaxies, but these galaxies are not pulling us with their gravity, Dr. Sutter said. Imagine you woke up to find yourself rolling down the side of hill in the middle of an avalanche. Dr. Sutter told Mail Online. There's already some stuff piled up at the bottom of the hill, and you're falling towards it. But that stuff isn't what's causing you to fall down the hill, you're just caught up in a larger process. He says neighboring galaxies are also moving towards the center of their own clusters. It is the end result of a process set in motion more than 13 billion years ago, and the natural result of the flows and buildup of matter in our universe, he said. The Milky Way and Andromeda are headed toward the center of the local group as it condenses. All the stuff in the Virgo supercluster is falling toward its center the Virgo cluster. Fortunately, the Great Attractor won't destroy our galaxy because we'll never reach it. About 5 billion years ago, dark energy began to dominate our universe, Dr. Sutter told Mail Online. We don't know what dark energy exactly is but we do know that it's causing the expansion of our universe to accelerate. While gravitationally bound structures like the solar system, the Milky Way, and the local group will remain cohesive, anything larger will get ripped apart. 